Welcome to Patch Notes, your source for life's little updates. I'm your intrepid reporter, Jenna Sin, here at Rose City Comic Con with This Week in the News. Guardians of the Galaxy continues to smash box office records, crossing 300 million domestically and 600 million worldwide, making the Marvel movie universe cross $7 billion. Over at DC, Supergirl gets a series commitment from CBS Warner Brothers. Word to the wise, I'm available. In related news, Arrow Season 3 and The Flash make their way back to airwaves October 1st. Fox has announced that Deadpool finally has a release date for its fans. It'll hit theaters February 12th, 2016. I know where I'm taking my Valentine. But what we all really want to know, is Ryan Reynolds going to play the Merc with the Mouth again? And Fox, don't screw this up. What we all really want is an R-rated Deadpool. In the world of video games, Destiny has made $325 million. So far, over 100 million of hours has been played. If that's averaging 20 hours a week, that's a brand new part-time job for gamers everywhere. This is Jenna Sims, Download Complete. Hi, I'm Jenna Sims here with Giant Nerd Robot, speaking with Tom and Nate of Bluxy.com. So I hear this is your guys' first Comic Con. It is, it is. Our yeah. wonderful marketing director decided to bring us here. What do you think so far? I think it's awesome. It's overwhelming. I'm not used to an event this big, but I'm having a great time. Yeah? yeah Have you seen some of the cool. awesome costumes? Oh, uh, there's great been a costumes. few. Yeah. What's been your favorite so far? There's a kid who's dressed up like a tree in a, in a flower pot. It's great. I haven't seen that. Oh, yet. yeah, he's awesome. He can barely move because everyone's taking his oh, picture. That's awesome. Good for him. I'm sure that's the highlight of his weekend. <laughs> in the 20s, I said, you know what? I've had enough of this. So I opened up the phone book and I found a gym that was teaching this new sport of MMA, uh -huh. or at the time, no holds barred for the UFC. Okay. And I said, this is what I'm going to go do. I started training at 24. At 35, I had a title shot in the UFC. Congratulations. Thank you. What a resume. I guess you can't say too many people go from fighters to riders, especially at Comic Con. You're probably the most muscular guy here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just met the Red Power Ranger. Oh, really? He's like jumping up and throwing kicks all over the place. That's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was over there earlier, too. I got Michelangelo to record my voicemail greeting on my phone. Awesome. I completely geeked out. Very cool. To at Comic Con, I am here with Jesse, who is a local celeb. He was on Heroes of Cosplay on what network? On the Sci-Fi Channel. On the Sci-Fi Channel, which is awesome. How was that experience? Uh, it was an experience. Yeah? <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we met a ton of people. We did a ton of stuff that normally we wouldn't have been able to get access to. Met a ton of awesome, awesome cosplayers and a bunch of really, really cool fans. That's awesome. So I hear now you're sort of shifted into making props and you aspire yeah. to make props on film. That's right. How's it going? Uh, so far, so good. Okay. <laughs> um, we've done some feature work. Uh, we've made some props for Grimm and a few other places. So nice. the dream is coming alive. So we're, we're actually doing a lot of prop making now, and we're doing mainly just custom commissions for people. So people will send us an email. We'll talk to them for a bit, and you know, like we'll work out a detail. Like, hey, I need Captain America's belt and holster and everything else like that and we need it out of leather, and so we kind of take our approach to cosplay to them. If, if I can't rough and tumble, like tear it apart, then it's good enough to go to somebody else. I love so. that. Yeah, speaking of leather, it seems like that seems to be one of your favorite materials of choice. Absolutely. Where do you find all of this leather? Uh, <laughs> so I'm good friends with our friends here at, um, at in Portland, Tandy Leather Factory. They're actually all over the United States, Canada, Spain. I don't know. They're, they're all over the place. Uh, but our local Tandy, uh, they're amazing. And yeah, I like to work in leather because it's a little bit more durable. 